everyone, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. This is absolutely my favorite story um, on the birth of Jesus. I absolutely love it. So let's look at 26 through 38. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. All right, let's look at some facts in Mary's life. I want to just share four things about this passage, four things for us women. Um, first of all, the facts of Mary's life, the fear in Mary's heart, the wonder in her mind, and the submission. So we're going to look at the fear, the, um, the wonder, the submission, and the facts. Now, first of all, we all have facts going on in our life, just like Mary. If you were to list the exact facts going on in your life right now, um, you know, what month is it? What's going on? Are you married? Are you not married? Um, are you pregnant? Are you not pregnant? I mean, are you caring for a loved one that's sick? Everything, just the facts that are going on in our life, our nation, we all have facts. And during this time, the angel comes and announces something uh, to Mary. But I loved that, that that angel first said, you are highly favored. Sister, you are highly favored too. You are highly favored and you need to know that. Yes, I'm talking to whoever is watching this on the other side of the screen. You are highly, highly favored. And so whatever's going on in your life, whatever facts are going on, know that you're highly favored. Number two, with those facts, there may be fear in your heart. Remember, Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, you have found favor with God. 
sometimes we get greetings from friends, doctors, relatives, and even something that's going on in our life may trouble us. Words may trouble us, and we begin to wonder. Here is Mary finding fear and wondering in her heart. Do you ever wonder? Do you ever just, you know, feel like, gosh, I'm troubled on this. I'm perplexed on this. What could this mean? I'm a little afraid. Um, I'm a little frightened. This doesn't sound right. This is kind of strange. There's alarms going off in my head. I feel confused. I don't know how to respond. Um, all of those stress defense mecha mechanisms go off. Anybody ever been there? Did anybody have an alarm system like Mary has right here? Have you ever had something like this grip you with fear? Then there's the whole section on the wonder in Mary's mind, the wonder. And the angel goes to say, you will be with child and give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus. And he's going to be great and will be called the son of the most high. The Lord will give him the throne of his father, David. Can First of all, can you imagine her getting all of this? And then she says, I have no idea. How is this going to be since I am a virgin? Do you ever wonder when you go back up thinking about what you're fearful or afraid of? Do you ever go, how can this be? How can this be? How can this happen? Do you ever wonder that? Do you ever wonder things like that, that stretch your mind, that make you explore, that make you press into your faith? But look what Mary does. Look at the submission in her spirit. And this is where we need to be, ladies. This is where our doubt needs to be trumped. Our faith needs to be escalated. Mary says, because she knows, the angel, first of all, reminded her, and we need friends, people, the gospel, uh, pastors, people speaking over us to remind us that the Holy Spirit is upon you. See, the Holy Spirit will come upon you in this passage. We have it when you accept Christ now. So the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you no matter what's going on in your life. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, for nothing, for nothing is impossible with God. And after Mary heard this announcement, what did she say that was so amazing? Right here. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. And then the angel left her. What submission. I, I am just amazed at Mary's response. I mean, her response right here is just, oh my gosh. It, she's just, there's no misunderstanding. She just says, I am the Lord's servant. After all is said and done, after all the exploring and all the possibilities, she still decided, I am a servant of the master. I will do whatever is told. And I think sometimes we go through things with great turmoil and our souls are just rocking and it and it seems impossible to just submit because we can't see the whole picture. Um, and it's hard to obey, but Mary said, I will obey and I'm gonna make a way for the king. Okay. Okay, now here's what I didn't tell you, Heather. After the wonderful God moment where my husband was okay and all things were possible, with God, he then got home, got on a call at work, got his commissions cut. Our daughter, who is struggling to find a job, um, didn't get another job. So my day started declining quickly, which I find a lot of times when you have a God moment can happen. And usually I get very discouraged and I want to call Heather and I want to say, why does this always happen to me? Why do I always have bad things happen? But then I remembered, I thought, you know what, this could be some kind of a test um, because I was thinking of the story again with Zachariah questioning, you know, yep. questioning, mm -hmm. you know, the angel. And I thought, you know what, for once in my life, I am not going to look at the negatives and say, poor me and Good. get all bummed out. That's a huge step and for say, you. And that is, Heather will tell you that's, that's huge That's a huge for step me for her. Because I always get discouraged and then I won't do my reading the next day because I'll say, Satan's always after me. I didn't do that. I got right back into that it. That is good. I did journaling and I told my husband, because we were both kind of negative about his commission cut and all that, oh. I said, we're not going to think commission this way. Commission cuts stink too. I had that last year. I said, well, as it, it turned out, it, it's going to be okay. It's, it's going to cut, but at least he has a job.
Yes. So, I mean, that's more important than anything. But our, and our daughter will be okay. I'm believing and trusting. I'm not going to get negative because that was another point of our lesson. No. God's got something in mind. You don't question it. Heather's video this morning, you don't doubt it. Right. You don't doubt. So I'm trying not to doubt. So yeah, so my, my day got better and it was saved. I did not think negative for the first time ever. And that is huge for me. Heather will tell you that. pretty color here and that a green color so these two how pretty is that okay and check this out this is a real plant can you believe this a real plant like I am I can't even grow one of these real babies real is that not the most beautiful plant you've ever seen so pretty but my salon has got it decorated all nice I've been coming here for a couple years and this is what we're doing next Civil War had been hard on Phillips Brooks, the pastor who preached, preached the funeral of Abraham Lincoln. Weary and worn, he traveled to Israel to find renewal. Christmas Eve found him in Bethlehem, awestruck at the gift of Christ delivered to such a humbled place. Three years later, he found words to express his epiphany moment, and a well-loved hymn was born, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Thank you. 